Balbinus Latin, Decimus Calius Calvinus Balbinus Pius Augustus, c. 178 the 29th of July 238 was Roman emperor with Pupinus for 3 months in 238 the year of the 6 emperors topic <inaudible> origins and career not much is known about Balbinus before his elevation to emperor it has been conjectured that he descended from Publius Celius Balbinus Vibilius Pius, the consul ordinarius of 137, and wife Aquilia. If this were true, he was also related to the family of Q. Pompeius Falco, which supplied many politicians of consular rank throughout the 3rd century, and to the 1st century politician, engineer and author Julius Frontinus. He was born around 178. He was a patrician from birth, and was the son either by birth or adoption of Caelius Calvinus, who was legate of Cappadocia in 184. He was one of the Salii priests of Mars. According to Herodian he had governed provinces, but the list of seven provinces given in the Historia Augusta, as well as the statement that Balbinus had been both proconsul of Asia and of Africa, are likely to be mere invention. He had certainly been twice consul, his first consulate is not certainly known but is believed to have been about 203 or in July 211, he was consul for the second time in 213 as colleague of Caracalla, which suggests he enjoyed that emperor's favor. Reign According to Edward Gibbon, drawing upon the narratives of Herodian and the Historia Augusta, Balbinus was an admired orator, a poet of distinguished fame, and a wise magistrate, who had exercised with innocence and applause the civil jurisdiction in almost all the interior provinces of the empire. His birth was noble, his fortune affluent, his manners liberal and affable. In him, the love of pleasure was corrected by a sense of dignity, nor had the habits of ease deprived him of a capacity for business. The two colleagues Puppinus and Balbinus had both been consul Balbinus had twice enjoyed that honorable office, both had been named among the twenty lieutenants of the Senate, and, since the one was sixty and the other seventy-four years old, they had both attained the full maturity of age and experience. When the Gordians were proclaimed emperors in Africa, the Senate appointed a committee of twenty men, including Balbinus, to coordinate operations against Maximinus Thrax. On the news of the Gordians' defeat, the Senate voted Puppinus and Balbinus as co-emperors on of April 238, though they were soon forced to co-opt the child Gordian III as a colleague. Unlike the situation in 161, both emperors were elected as Pontifices Maximi, chief priests of the official cults. This would be unthinkable in Republican times. Balbinus was probably in his early seventies, his qualifications for rule are unknown, except presumably that he was a senior senator, rich and well-connected. While Puppinus marched to Ravenna, where he oversaw the campaign against Maximinus, Balbinus remained in Rome, but failed to keep public order. The sources suggest that after Puppinus's victorious return following Maximinus's death, Balbinus suspected Puppinus of wanting to supplant him, and they were soon living in different parts of the imperial palace, where they were later assassinated by disaffected elements of the Praetorian Guard, with Balbinus's death occurring on 29 July 238. <laughs> Sarcophagus The sarcophagus of Balbinus's has earned this emperor a niche in the history of Roman imperial art. Presumably while holding the title of emperor, Balbinus had a marble sarcophagus made for himself and his wife whose name is unknown. Discovered in fragments near the Via Appia and restored, this is the only example of a Roman imperial sarcophagus of this type to have survived. On the lid are reclining figures of Balbinus and his wife, the figure of the emperor also being a fine portrait of him. The sarcophagus is held in collection at the Museo di Predestato at the Catacombs of Pretextatus in the Park of the Caffarella near the Appian Way at Rome. Although in accounts of their joint reign Balbinus is emphasized as the civilian as against Puppinus the military man, on the side of the sarcophagus he is portrayed in full military dress. <laughs> 